Well, right now my little cat's super annoyed with me because she keeps jumping on the keyboard and retyping my script. Right now I'm in the process of copying and pasting from the more current one that I typed up. Uh, I'd done it before, there had been a job I'd been offered, and so I had to clear off my computer and put it put everything onto a hard drive which I subsequently lost. Uh, so I know it's in the house someplace, but that being said, I had other versions of uh, the script on thumb drives, and I found one of them. Uh, it's a PDF, so I'm just very carefully copying and pasting that text into the current version, which also has additional scenes that I've been writing up. So that's loads of fun. But I know there's one line in there that I use, and I realized, oh my god, this fits with... The last interview I did with Cappy, in that uh, when I interviewed him that day, um, some jerk went and propped the door open before he came out. I won't say exactly what he was wearing or not wearing, but I did loudly kind of say, you know, there's women in the hallway, you better shut that damn door. And... Um, of course, the PR guy was like, huh, what are you talking about? And I, I was just like, just trust me on this one, Kyle. Trust me. And uh, when poor Cappy came out, it was about, it was quite warm outside that day. I mean, a lot of people were wearing flip-flops and shorts and stuff like that. And the poor man came out there in, I think, about five layers of clothing, including, you know, a bunny hug with a t-shirt over the top of it and a jean jacket over the top and a ball cap slapped under his head. And uh, I came very close to saying, you know, Cappy, you'll look like a boiled owl. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't because I knew the poor guy was already feeling humiliated by what this one teammate of his had done to him. And so I avoided calling him a boiled owl. Instead, I just did the interview professionally and shut off the recorder and then we chatted about some other stuff uh, to do with prejudice and that that I'd experienced um, just so that he'd know that when I'm asking about prejudice and that, I kind of know a little bit about what I'm talking about. I'm not going to get into it any further than that. But as I've been going through this script, I realized uh, this expression that my grandmother always used to use would have uh, actually matched that situation after that interview and during that interview that I did with Cappy. So, uh, Cappy, I hope there's no other situations you go through around journalists where uh, someone humiliates you like that or tries humiliating you. Because that really... Uh, I thought that was really disrespectful that that was done. Anywho, I better get going here because i got to finish getting this copying and pasting done. Okoye is pouting right now, but whatever. She's a kitten. She'll get over it. Anyway, have a good night, everyone.